my beloved child, this is it, my last attempt to reach you, to speak directly to your heart. I have tried so many times before, in so many ways, to connect with you, to draw you close to me, but each time my voice has been drowned out by the noise of the world, by your own doubts and fears. I cannot force you to listen, but I can plead with you, one final time, to open your heart and hear what I have to say. Before anything else, I need you to know this. I have always loved you. From the moment you came into being, my love for you has been unwavering, unconditional, and eternal. I crafted you with care, breathed life into you with intention, and set you on this earth with a purpose. You are not here by accident. You are here because I wanted you to be, because I love you. My beloved child, if your heart longs for my blessings, speak it in faith. Write yes, I need and let my grace flow into your life abundantly. This love is not based on what you do or don't do. It isn't dependent on your success, your failures, your choices, or your mistakes. It's not something you have to earn. My love for you simply is and always will be. I love you because you are mine, and nothing can ever change that. You might not realize it, but I have been reaching out to you your entire life. I've whispered to you through the beauty of a sunset, the stillness of a quiet morning, the comfort of a friend's embrace. I've tried to catch your attention in those fleeting moments of joy, peace, or even sorrow when your heart was most open to hearing my voice. I've spoken to you through the words of others, through the events in your life, and even through the longings in your own heart. But time and time again, those messages have gone unnoticed or have been brushed aside. I know life gets busy. I know the world is loud, and I know that sometimes it's hard to hear my voice amid all the chaos. But I've never stopped trying to reach you, to make my presence known in your life. I see everything you're going through. I see the battles you fight, both the ones visible to others and the ones you keep hidden deep inside. I know your fears, your doubts, your worries, and your pain. I know the struggles that keep you up at night, the questions that haunt you, and the dreams you're afraid will never come true. You might feel alone in these struggles, but you're not. I am right here with you, even when it doesn't feel like it. I've been with you through every tear you've shed, every heartache you've endured, and every victory you've achieved. I've never left your side, and I never will. One of the greatest gifts I've given you is free will, the ability to choose your own path. But with this freedom comes great responsibility. I can't force you to choose me, to listen to me, or to follow the path I've set out for you. The choice is yours, and I respect that choice, even when it breaks my heart. You've made choices in your life, some good, some not so good. But I want you to know that no matter what choices you've made, I am still here, waiting for you with open arms. You're not defined by your past, and it's never too late to choose a different path, to turn back to me, and to start anew. I see you searching for something to fill the emptiness inside. You've tried to find it in relationships, in success, in material things, in pleasure, in distractions. But none of it has truly satisfied you, has it? That's because what you're searching for can't be found in the world. The world's promises of happiness and fulfillment are empty and fleeting. What you're really searching for is me. I am the only one who can fill that void in your heart the only one who can give you the peace, the joy, and the love you so desperately seek. The world cannot give you what only I can provide. It can offer temporary pleasures but not lasting fulfillment. It can distract you for a time, but it cannot satisfy your soul. My beloved child, if this message has touched your heart, show your love by pressing that like button. Let this small act be a testimony of your faith. You were created with a purpose, a unique and divine purpose that only you can fulfill. You are not here by accident. You are here because I have a plan for your life, a plan that is good, that is filled with hope, 
and that is meant to bring you joy. But to fulfill this purpose, you must be willing to walk the path I've set before you. It's not always an easy path, and it will require faith, courage, and perseverance. But it is the path that leads to true fulfillment, to true joy, and to a life that is rich with meaning and purpose. I know there have been times when you've questioned your purpose, when you've wondered if your life has any meaning at all. But I want you to know that your life has immense value. Every day, every moment, every choice matters. You were created to make a difference in this world, to bring light into the darkness, to love and be loved, and to fulfill the destiny that I've laid out for you. You may feel like you've gone too far down the wrong path, that it's too late to turn back, too late to make a change. But that's not true. It's never too late to turn back to me, to start again, to choose a different path. My grace is greater than any mistake you've made, any wrong turn you've taken, any sin you've committed. All you have to do is come to me, with a humble heart, and ask for my forgiveness. I am ready and willing to forgive you, to wipe the slate clean, to give you a fresh start. You are not defined by your past. You are defined by my love for you, and my love is boundless, endless, and unchanging. The peace you long for is within reach, but it can only be found in me. The world's peace is temporary, fleeting, and often based on circumstances. But the peace I offer is different. It is a peace that transcends understanding, a peace that remains even in the midst of storms, a peace that is rooted in knowing that you are loved, that you are safe, and that you are never alone. This peace is not something you have to earn or work for. It is a gift, freely given, to those who trust in me. When you let go of your worries, your fears, your need to control everything and place your trust in me, you will find a peace that nothing in this world can take away. I know you carry wounds, some that are visible and others that are buried deep within. These wounds have caused you pain, have made you question your worth, and have held you back from fully embracing the life I have for you. But I want you to know that I am here to heal those wounds. Healing is not always immediate, and it is not always easy. But if you allow me, I will begin the process of healing in your heart, in your mind, and in your soul. I will mend the broken places, soothe the hurt, and restore what has been lost. But you must be willing to let go of the pain, to forgive those who have hurt you, and to trust that I can make all things new. You may feel isolated, abandoned, or misunderstood, but you are never alone. I am with you, always. I have been with you since the beginning, and I will be with you until the end. You are never out of my sight, never out of my reach, and never out of my heart. When you walk through the valley, I am there. When you climb the highest mountains, I am there. When you face trials, when you celebrate victories, when you weep, when you rejoice, I am with you in every moment. You are my beloved child, and I will never leave you, nor forsake you. Precious child, your super thanks helps carry God's truth to those in need. By clicking the super thanks button, you partner with me in spreading his light. In return, may you be showered with abundant blessings. This is your moment for a new beginning. No matter where you are, no matter what you've done, I am offering you a fresh start, a new chapter, a clean slate. The past is behind you, and I am calling you forward into a future filled with hope, promise, and possibility. But to step into this new beginning, you must be willing to let go of the past, let go of the regrets, the mistakes, the disappointments. They do not define you. What defines you is who you are in me, a beloved child a person of infinite worth, someone with a bright future and a purpose yet to be fulfilled. You have questions about life, about your purpose, about the meaning of it all. You've searched for answers in many places, but those answers have been elusive. I want you to know that I am the answer to those questions. 
In me, you will find the truth you've been searching for. I am the way, the truth, and the life. Everything you need, everything you've been looking for, can be found in me. You don't have to keep searching in the dark. I am here, ready to guide you into the light. My beloved child, this is my last call to you. I have reached out to you time and time again, and now, I am pleading with you to listen, to respond, to open your heart to me. This is not a call to scare you, but a call of love, a call of urgency, because I do not want to lose you. You are so precious to me, more than you can ever comprehend, but I will not force myself into your life. I will not make you choose me. That choice is yours, and it is a choice that has eternal significance. Please, do not turn away this time. Do not let this moment pass you by. The choice you make today will shape your future, not just in this life, but in the life to come. I have a future for you that is filled with hope, with joy, with purpose. But you must be willing to step into it. You must be willing to trust me, to follow me, to let me lead you. Your future is bright, but it is in your hands. The path you choose today will determine where you end up tomorrow. I am offering you a path that leads to life, to peace, to fulfillment. Will you take it? Will you trust me to guide you? Will you let me be the Lord of your life? My precious child, I call you to join this circle of faith where my voice will strengthen and inspire you. Subscribe to receive the messages that will lift your spirit higher. I am waiting for you. With open arms, with a heart full of love, with a promise of a new beginning, I am waiting for you to turn to me, to come to me, to trust me with your life. I have done everything I can to reach you. And now, the next step is yours. I am here, ready to forgive, ready to heal, ready to guide, ready to bless. But you must be willing to come to me. You must be willing to let go of whatever is holding you back and take that step of faith. I promise you, you will not regret it. As I close this message, I want to remind you of one final truth. My love will never fail you. People may fail you, circumstances may fail you, but my love never will. It is constant, unchanging, and everlasting. No matter what happens, no matter what you do, my love will remain. It is the one thing in this world that you can always count on. The one thing that will never let you down. I love you, my child, and I always will. So now, my beloved child, I ask you to take the step. Take the step toward me, toward the life I have for you, toward the future that is waiting for you. Take the step and see what I can do in your life. Take the step and experience the peace, the joy, the love that only I can give. This is my last attempt to reach you, my last call to you. I pray that you will hear my voice, that you will feel my love, and that you will take the step toward me. I am waiting for you. My arms are open, and my heart is full of love for you. Take the step, my child, and come home. My beloved child, share this light with those who need it most. Pass this message on to uplift the weary hearts around you. Amen.